Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Cha Cha. In this video, I've brought an inspection video of my Model Y. Today, I'm going to use the masking tape to mark the issues. If you mark it like this, it is easy to find the problem when you request service. From the conclusion, I found a total of 18 issues. 3 in the front part, 4 in the left part, 7 in the right part, 2 in the rear part of the car body, and 2 issues in the interior. Then let's go and see how it was. The first is the front part. There were 3 issues on the front part. Hood, trunk and bumper. Look at this. You can find about two spots where the ceiling flowed out to the part where the iron plate was folded on the bottom of the hood. Additionally, two parts of the hood arm on the driver's side were deeply stamped. The second part is the frunk. In the frunk part, the left of frunk plastic part was not properly fixed to the body and the gap was wider than the other side. So I also marked this. In the bumper section, I found two problems. The first was a cuff on the bottom of the bumper and the second one was blue stain like this. Now let's go to the left side of the body. There were four issues on the left side including front fender, front door, front window, and rear fender. Like this, I found that the front fender had an overpaint issue near the headlight. And on the upper part of the tire, I found a paint chip here. This is the dust paint issue I mentioned in the previous video. Next is the front door. The front door was slightly higher than the front fender and rear door. Also, when the door was open, the ceiling at the bottom of the door was not properly attached. In the front window, there was a scratch on the trim of window frame. There are many cases of trim scratches. In this case, you should ask Tesla to replace it. And go to the rear fender section. The gap at the top of the window is wider than the other. And the welding paints inside the fender was also dirty. This part is invisible from the outside, so it's a little better. But I marked it because it might be able to get care at the service request. I also saw that the rear door and the fender seemed to be slightly misaligned. The right side had the most problems. There was issue everywhere except for the rear window. In the front fender part, there was a gap when looking at the side mirror. And also there was a paint dust right next to it. And also there was an overpaint issue near the headlight. The next issue was on the front wheel, and I was freaked out. There was no problem with the wheel, but there was a cable coming out from the inside of the bumper at the front of the wheel. I thought it was a cable related to the lights, so I checked the light. But all the lights were okay. I guess it's probably a sensor cable. I've also used the autopilot several times before. It's so lucky that I haven't had any accidents. It might be just one sensor, but one sensor could be directly connected to safety. So I was so annoyed. Anyway, next is the right side mirror. This part didn't seem to be painted fully. When you look at the photo, you can see that the upper part is white, but the lower part looks like a silver band. I think there was a problem when they painting. Now the next one is the front door. Like the other side, it was slightly elevated compared to the fender and rear door. The alignment was not perfect. And when I checked the inside of the door, the door ceiling was not attached properly. Next is the front window. The trim over here was scratched just like the other side. And when the window was closed, it did not go up completely. I haven't washed the car yet, but I'm afraid that the water may come inside. In the rear door, there was a paint chip too, so I marked it. The rear fender has a deep scratch on the inner part when the door is open, so I marked this part. And also, the side plastic part on the fender seems to fit slightly more than the tail light. And the next is the back of the car body. There were two issues on the back. They were the trunk part and the seat folding button. In the case of the trunk part, there was a misalignment issue. 
it is seemed to go inside of it. And when I opened the trunk, I could see the air bubbles in the middle of the trunk door. Also, if you look inside the trunk door, there was a problem that a plastic part stick out on the left. When opening the trunk door, there was a sound of something rolling inside the trunk door, so I also marked this part. When I tried to use the seat folding button on the trunk side, only the sound of releasing the seat was heard. And the seat was not folded properly, so I checked it. It seemed that the gap between the two seats was too tight to fold. Now, the last part is the interior part. In the interior part, I found two issues near the front seat lights and rear seat. Look at the picture. At the next to the emergency light in the front seat lighting section, there is a slight gap like this. In the rear seat, there were two oil stains on the seat. Also, the buckles of the seat belt was not properly pulled out, so the seat belt could not be filled. Also, when I lean back the both of rear seats, the height between the seats did not fit perfect. There was also an issue with the rear seat cover when viewed from the trunk. I was able to see the panel was sticking out and separated. When I went to pick up the car, I didn't feel that the gap or alignment issues were worse than the other cars. When I looked at the details slowly, the problems varied. No matter how Tesla is notorious for having severe gap or alignment problems, I didn't know it would be this much. If you do mind this kind of issues, you'd better to reconsider to buy a Tesla. Do you remember that I was using the app during the inspection? There are too many parts to check with a checklist, and also it's tired to print out and write down with a pen. Also, since when taking a picture of a problem, it is zoomed in, so it becomes confused about what part it was when I look at the picture later. You can easily solve those problems using the inspect T. In the export part, you can export all the photos within a compressed file. When you open the compressed file again later, you can see the photos are organized by the each side. And also, you can export a summarized inspection report and share it. You can check the photos or the report file both on your desktop and smartphone. If you enjoyed this video or are looking forward to the next video, please subscribe and like it. The Inspect T that we developed is available on both Apple App Store and Android Play Store. You can download it for free and use it for free. It doesn't include any in-app purchase or any advertisement. I'll post the download link in the description below. Please try it out and leave us a feedback as a comment. We will continue to update as much as possible. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!